Hello, I am Alejandro Lopez, application engineer at Entopology. And today I'll show you how it's possible with Entop to create your own texture and apply to, for example, a shoe sole, explore different design alternatives, and then reuse the same workflow on a completely different uh, shoe, on a completely different geometry. And then we'll shortly go through the architected materials section of Entop where we can as well uh, use some of the existing, uh, existing uh, capabilities to quickly apply textures on different parts. So as you see, this is the, the texture I decided to create a, a wavy sort of texture on the shoe. So if I open this other file where I have enabled uh, GPU acceleration, which is a new feature that we have incorporated in N topology 3.0, this gives you the possibility to explore your design very, very quickly. For example, if I want to take this, this geometry and quickly explore different parameters, the visualization effect that they'll have. For example, I changed that parameter from one to five, you see. So now I know just in a few seconds, I was able to see the result. And probably this is something that I don't want to use. So I can reduce this, for example, to three. And we have this real time rendering happening on the screen that is showing me the effect of that decision, that design decision. So this lets me iterate so much faster without having to wait at all. Similarly, I can change this, this wavelength value. Instead of five, I can use three, for example. Okay, so you see the difference between that and that. So I'm starting to understand what values I want to actually be using. Uh, here, for example, well, I'll go back to this value. This is the one I like. But here for this wave amplitude as well, instead of three, I can try four here. And in a matter of <laughs> two seconds, I have the, the new wavelength. Okay, so you don't need to be thinking and waiting and you know it's it's real time as you think about it you are getting the result on the screen so this is a new capability that i personally love and and it lets me explore design alternatives so much more efficiently and then we can choose different possibilities we can choose a subtractive sort of uh, texture but as well, we can go ahead and do a additive sort of texture, as you can see. So you can play with the wave uh, parameters. You can play whether it's a subtractive or additive texture. It's very, very flexible in that sense. But what is very interesting with Antop is if I now take a different shoe, okay, so you see that though these two shoes are are quite different. If I now take this shoe, all I have to do is to bring in the new, the parameters that are linked to, to the shoe, like the outside sole, the inside sole, and the, the sneaker itself. So I just drag them in, and this workflow is fully parametric, which allows you to apply the exact same operations on this geometry. So now if I check out this, um, this shoes geometry with a subtractive pattern, in a few seconds, we'll see that we have been able to apply the exact same operation on this different part. If I toggle on the additive one, so here we, we can clearly see those subtractive textures. Now, in this case, we can see how we are talking about a additive texture. So as you see, it's very, very efficient to work with Ntop. Once your workflow is parametric and you know uh, how to split your data to automate the operations, any shoe geometry that you have will benefit from this workflow. Okay, so 
that's the first part I wanted to show you how we can create our own um, pattern and then apply it to different geometries. But also I wanted to comment today on our architected materials section, which I personally love. So you have already some interesting um, blocks here that you can benefit from. For example, the cellular noise device or the subtractive lattice texture. Uh, I invite you to explore the other ones, but just to give you a quick example, I'll be applying the subtractive lattice texture. And I'm going to apply it on this face. So I'm going to create a cut face variable here. And on this cut face and for this sneaker, I will be applying a simple cubic uh, structure at let's say one millimeter of depth. And you see, we have very quickly obtained this texture on this face. And now if I want to change instead of simple cubic, body center cubic, I can do that as well. If instead of 10 by 10, I want to maybe deform this, this lattice a little bit, maybe I can use five here. And let's see the effect that that will have on our geometry. So you see very fast, we are generating different possibilities. If instead of applying this on the if instead of applying this on this on the bottom of the sole, I want to maybe apply it here on the side. I can make this a phase variable as well. And now bring this in here. Maybe I'll change these parameters a bit like 20 and five. Let's see the effect that has on, on the geometry. Okay, there we go. So you see that now we have if I render a bit more in detail, we have created this uh, body center cubic uh, sort of texture. Maybe the depth is a bit too big, so I'll just put it down to 0.5. Okay. Again, you could play with the lattice types. So as you're thinking about it, you, you're exploring all the design options. So it's it's quite it's quite amazing to have this speed implemented in, in a software. Um, yeah, maybe I would change this to, let's say two, and maybe, I don't know, I would try face center cubic, see what that gives. But hopefully this uh, video uh, showed you how with NTOP you will be able to uh, exploit all of your design alternatives very efficiently, explore different geometries, um, explore different possibilities in, in many ways uh, with all the flexibility that you want, adding a pattern, subtracting a pattern, wavy pattern, lattice-based pattern. Um, as I said, we could we could go ahead and create a, a um, cellular noise debuss, for example. So we could apply this, let's say to the to the soul, so I can I can bring the soul in. You see, we can apply this noisy sort of pattern, which is also very interesting. Okay. Of course, you could have control over the different factors like the frequency, the depth factor, etc. So just wanted to give you a quick overview. You will have these files available in for download. Don't hesitate to play around with them and, and let us know what, what you think or, or even bring your own uh, files and, and try to apply these textures to, to your files. Um, you will have more videos in our, in our website related to, to shoe design, also using lattices, with, which are very interesting applications. So, uh, by joining the NTOP community, you join a, a community of enthusiast uh, design designers and, and enthusiast um, engineers who really come up with, with very cool applications all the time. So I hope to see you there and, and then see you next time.